Pick up, let's find the elevation of the model. First of all, the model has to be molded. We need to put this structural model in. And then, this is the floor plan you need to put in. This is the origin. The position of the origin is set. Then look at it. Going to cross-reference the other drawings. Take a look at these. Is there any alignment? The floor plan and the model must go together. And then the structural model has to be placed at the right elevation. What about when the whole model is aligned? We want the elevation of a certain point. Let's use this simple one to demonstrate. First of all, let's see I was looking for the elevation of these three balls ah. First of all, use this one to catch the ball. Which ball elevation do you want? Then sustain multiple balls. For example, A, 234, I need the elevation of these four balls. And then you lost it. You find the center of area of this ball. And then, this one is, volume this is the center of the volume ah. Find its volume center. And then, you can then give it a labeling ah. 0 1 2 3. This one is labeled. This is the labeled size. You can zoom in and out. The unit is meters. Then the elevation of this point we can see see ah. It's 21 meters 6. This one is 22.08. And then if say you need to derive its coordinates. This is its coordinates x y z. Look at this. It's c. This is s. This is y. You can save it by right clicking on it. This save 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 you can save to an Excel document. Hiccup. I just saved this once and it won't save. You'll have to pull another panel to take over. After that, you can pull it over. You right click and save. You can only save each panel once. Save you delete it and pull it out again. Here's the Excel file. There's also a writing version of the document. You can save this Excel document. For example, save as 888 to open. Then you can find this Excel document on your desktop 888. Then you can open it. And then this XYZ coordinates ah. What about this number? You can use an Excel document. This one's from scratch. Of an unmarried couple, be close. What about these balls? Let's take a look. These are the three balls I just interned with. These three balls have different radii. This ball. Look at this ball. Interjection of surprise. It has a radius of 0.225 meters. You see it matches it perfectly. So how do you measure this radius? For the radius of this ball you can use this translucent mode. And then, complicate this node with this straight line. Here's the node. Object attachment point node. And then there's the following node. Ah, vintage clothes. And what about this line? You can check it. Must be translucent mode. Then use this to analyze the commands inside. The analysis is here. You can put it on top of this. Tap it. You see it's 0.45 meters in diameter. Then its radius is 0.2. Then there are a few others you can test as well. Well, I just tested it. So the radius of this one is 0.25 a 0.25. You put a 0.25 on it and it matches. It's a take. What about interception? You can order this green on one side and white on the other. You picked it. And it comes up. And this one. It is 0.3 radius. You'll see it's done. Do you see that the 0.3 radius is much larger than that? And then this one's a lot bigger, too. Interjection of surprise. Here are the coordinates to a point. If that's what you need. Then you can patch in this node. Then you choose this point. And then lose it with this point or right click. Choose it. Interjection of surprise. If you want more than one point, lose this one. Use this one point and lose this one. Get this one point. And what about this point? It's got coordinates you can lend it. This is what it is. Interjection of surprise. It's Z coordinate. If you want it three coordinates up, lend it to him directly. If you want it three coordinates up, you can use this command again to put it. It all boils down to this. And then there will be three coordinates here. This coordinate can then be saved. You can copy it too. Copy, loan word. For example, copy to this Excel document. We can get. Right click and paste here to copy and paste it. You can paste this zero from the front as well. And then if, for example, other places, if say you want the coordinates above any of the keisters, you could be on the keel, too. For example, this highest point 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 ah, here you point a little ah, you want its coordinates to be the same. Use this point to grab it right click to lose lose two points ah. Interjection of surprise, tap this to keep multiple taps on you to replace it, so there's two points here. It's J right here. SYZ is right here. Of course if that means you don't want to use gh, a point you can also do this ah, use this command directly from analyze. 
Tap the coordinates of the point. See if it's the same value as this one. Or y z r on it r. These are the coordinates of the work plane, because now the work plane is the same as the world coordinates. It's all from square one. It's because of our model. It's from square one. So where are the coordinates? World coordinates are the same as the work plane. 